Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new League of Legends video. So for this one, as usual, you guys know I like the leaks. You guys know I love talking about all that, making videos about that. Well, we have a pretty juicy one now. This was a few days ago, so if you haven't seen it especially, well, of course, this video is great for you. But nonetheless, you know, this is something that I wanted to talk about. Um, so it's pretty interesting. So remember how in the recent roadmap, uh, Riot League of Legends roadmap. Hey so this video is sponsored by Facecheck. Facecheck is an all-in-one League of Legends app that gives you the tools to succeed. For instance, you can use the Learn Champions tab and learn literally any single champion in just a matter of seconds and in just a couple of clicks. For instance, you can go on Z and it'll give you pretty much everything you need to know about the champion, including what the champion does, the abilities, builds. They also have a post-game analysis screen where you can compare and see how you actually did in one of the games that you just recently played. On top of that, they also have a whole system for champ select. You can see your teammates, you know, picks, bans, you can see the team stats so you know who you're playing with and how good they are or maybe bad they are you can even have the runes set up based on the champion that you are currently hovering and if I switch it to let's say a Kali it instantly swaps it here and gives me right away the exact information I need for Akali as well. And just when you thought it was over, they also have a full system designed for when you're actually in the game, giving you even more information to succeed in the literal game itself once you're playing. Guys, face check, the best part, believe it or not, is it's completely free. The link is down below. Highly recommend checking it out. It's a pretty damn They talked about the new, um, here, this one. They talked about the new Void, this one I think it was. Uh, the new Void Champion, right? Imp given to your Empress and let her feed on your essence, right? The one that they kind of teased over here. Yeah, well, apparently she's uh, relatively leaked. So you can see here, uh, leak. If you guys want to know the name of her skill, so first of all, her name is Belveth, the Empress of the Void, which kind of makes sense with this whole thing, given to your Empress, right? And she is from the Void. Um, Q is Void Surge. Her W is above and below. E is a Royal Maelstrom. And her ultimate is Endless Banquet. I mean, those are some pretty sick names. I actually think those names sound completely legitimate to me. Like... Um, like, they just sound like names I can see on a champion like this, you know, in, in a game like League of Legends. It just kind of makes sense. It just, yeah, it's like you read that and you're like, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. I can definitely see that happening. It's not something stupid like dildo smashers. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I, anyway. Um, I'm referring to that leak where we had those skins where it was like Cock Smasher Ezreal or something like that. It's obviously not that stupid. So, uh, there's a... This is the name of the champion, right? Belveth, Emerson of the Void. And there's a quick little video over here that we're going to watch together, actually. So check it out, guys. Let's go. Big bad bear. This guy always leaks stuff. And they're, like, usually quite accurate. You think yourselves victorious. You are wrong. She kind of looks like Morgana, but Void. Like, she literally looks like a Void version of Morgana. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, now she looks like Valkos. So they did say that she like transforms and stuff, so she can transform. You can see there, she does look substantially different. So that's the base version of Belveth. And this is her ulti. Oh, that's after she ulties. Damn, dude, she looks fucking sick. Okay. She goes into like full void mode. Alright, I don't want to get copyright. Is there anything more after this? You know, there isn't. It's just a very long outro. <laughs> Half the video is the outro. Um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so it seems like that's going to be uh, essentially kind of the, the leak here. So, again, so, you know, reading over very quickly, like, the, I guess, the teaser. So, don't you dare close your eyes. The Champions team has something coming soon. Something beautiful, something inevitable, something foretold. A new skirmisher. So, she's a skirmisher. For all those jungle players out there, a new Empress to submit to, and you will submit. So, it makes you wonder, like, which ability would be her submitting like because submit implies that like you're pretty much under her control more or less right um or like you're charmed but i would assume under her control so i'm kind of curious which of these but none of these abilities really seem like maybe it's like endless banquet where it's like i don't know none of them suggest anything that sounds like it's some form of submission if that makes sense so i don't know we'll, we'll see uh so those who do those who do so willingly will be rewarded by becoming part of the ever expanding lavender sea crashing like waves against the enemy's defensive structures that's her ultimate, like, on top of the transformation, like, transform enemy champions into, like, a purple wave that just smashes into a tower or something. Given to your Empress and let her feed on your essence, so you maybe become part of a new evolution of Runeterra. That could be something like Void Surge, maybe even a Royal Ma Maelstrom, right? Uh, and as an added bonus, if you succumb to her, you will also bear witness to her true elegance, her true beauty, and the true face of the Void. Yeah, well, I mean, that's definitely her ultimate. That's 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 100 endless banquet right that's their like true form which kind of makes sense uh who wouldn't want that i already submitted in january and 
while there wasn't cake, it was still a good time. So what are you waiting for? Same. Um, yeah, so that's essentially what it is, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I think it's pretty exciting. I mean, the champion looks pretty damn sick. Like, bro, like, in a regular form, she kind of looks like Morgana. Like, that, that's the first thing I think of. She looks like a more, like, sinister, like, void Morgana. But then in, in, in her, in her like, you know, void form... Every morsel of this world will fuel our it's really sick. Morsel. You can also see her, she has an icon beside her. So, but does she have that also before? Yeah, so she has that regardless of the form. Is, so you can see right beside her HP bar, she has this little icon, whatever that means. And across her as well, which I'm assuming is, you know, similar to each other and kind of, you know, signify the same thing-ish. Uh, but she has it on both forms, so it's not like it's specific to whichever form she is, right? So that's clearly not the thing. So it could be something like maybe her W related, related to her W. Could even be her passive, because again, there's nothing to do with her passive here. Oh, never mind, it's right up here. Death and Lavender. I mean, that actually could be it. That actually, right there, could be the whole thing where you can like submit to her. It literally could be her passive, Death and Lavender. Maybe like when you die, you can like... She like takes your soul like thresh style, but then like does something with it. Maybe like makes her next attack do like mo bonus damage to towers, similar to like thresh when he collects his souls. Except he just literally collects them and gets stronger. I don't know. I'm just theorizing here. I, I think it's fun to kind of theorize and kind of get an idea. So you know what it could be. But either way, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think down below. I think it's pretty exciting. So yeah, it, it, she looks cool as hell. Like, I'm not gonna lie, she looks pretty fucking aesthetic. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you. For